Just thought I'd offer you the idea of um, unsubscribing from the um, idea of a separate self. <laughs> um, you know, it's that peeling away of any idea of creating a separate self. The determination to see what's actually there when we don't create an idea of a separate self. When we simply look from beingness, from the background of being in the world, um, we tend to project ourselves and our ideas onto the world. Um, we filter our experience through the mind that has a judgment about everything that is conditioned um, to contrast and compare. So, you know, example would be to look at a garden and it's just a garden, it's just what's appearing from here. Even those are labels. But the mind then tends to think, oh, I must mow that lawn. It's very damp though, isn't it? It's a commentator. So it'll say, oh, there's too many weeds. I wonder if I should chop down the meadow and then there'll be more flowers next year. You know, it's not that these things aren't valid, but they just fill our life. And there is that opportunity to drop back into self, not to project out into an idea of a self and use the mind to create your life, but to drop back into, unsubscribe from the idea of a you to what's actually here when we don't pick up, when we don't subscribe <laughs> to the idea of a separate self. So it's that opening up the focus, what's actually here when we don't do that? Is it just, just this potential of a clear, crystal clear moment. We're not bringing the past into this moment. We're not projecting the future into this moment. We're just being with the moment, unfiltered, unconditioned, just here, just this. And this is so intimate and it's a felt sense rather than a thinking. And it's always there, but we tend to miss it because it's really subtle and it's so intimate because it's a felt sense of who we are it's our direct experience of who we are not the filtered experience of who we are so it's a resting back and an opening up and just opening our eyes just waking up to actually what's here when we don't project our attention out towards the story of us the idea of us, you know, this unfiltered self has always been there. When you were a baby, you were just unfiltered, naked awareness. And then your parents had a story about you. And you didn't have language though. So you were, you were this. And this has never changed. What's looking through your eyes has never changed from that baby all the way up to your age now. And what's looking through your eyes is looking through my eyes. We are the same one consciousness. We are the same one. It's just no words, just the same one um, essence. And it's always been there. And then the story's put on top. You were given a name, this that you are now, that's looking at me, was given a name. And already had a story when it was born about what it's potentially going to be. But actually, what was there? Just this. Just this crystal clear moment that we tend to then colour. Whereas if we're just looking at the garden from the crystal clear moment, there's no label of garden. We just peel back the labels. I mean, you could say life. You're just experiencing life from this felt sense. And it's not a life, you are life. So you're just 
experiencing, sensing yourself. That garden is you. It's in you because you're the totality. You're everything. So yeah, just thought I'd offer unsubscribing from <laughs> the idea of you to feel into, okay, what's already here? When I don't subscribe, I don't project out to an idea of me in the world and then I have this relationship with the world. What if there's no opposition? What if I am the world? So, um, yeah, hope this helps. Thanks for watching.